The pelt is now... I can't get the last stake out. Show me your dagger. Now he wants my dagger, too. I would have to remove the stakes again first. Impressive. Poor thing. And now? Can't just eat it raw. Here, take these stones. Oh, who doesn't need stones? No, these are special stones for fire. He seems to be holding something in his hand. These are flints. Thank you. And now the staff? What? Stones for the staff. That's the price. Thank you for not giving me away. I thought you wanted to get rid of me. As unpredictable as you are, he's even worse. Failed. I might as well just lie here and die. No. Oh. Oh. He took everything. He only left the flints and the mask. I'll hunt that bastard down. I'll catch him and I'll gut him like a rat. No one flouts me and gets away with it. Where did he go? Are those animal tracks? Or was it Rachvan? If I follow the wrong trail, I may never find my way back. Hmm. Perhaps with these berries. So I came from here. This way I can't possibly get lost. This is so confusing. I think I've got... was right. He was here. First he ate my rabbit, and then... and then he threw my dagger into the tree. He seems to be mocking me. Nothing left for me. The bastard gnawed all the bones clean. He threw it just so that I can't reach it.
good thing they already ate. Looks like I followed the wrong swine. It looks like all the others. It looks like...
I'm not going one step closer. Not before I'm sure that there's nothing lurking behind this web. I bundled the kindling with the rope. Now the staff, quick. Ah, oh, princess, I just braced myself for the next thousand years. There's no time for that. Which way did he go? Back there, over the tree trunk. Good, it's not following us. We're safe. So, do you trust me now? You only saved me, so I can tell you where your treacherous guide fled to. Then stop doubting me and start trusting me. I'll only trust you when you tell me what you're planning to do with me. Nothing. I'm not planning to do anything with you. It's entirely up to you whether you help me or not. I don't believe you. I'm going into battle, a war for which no one can predict the outcome. I'm following a path that cannot be planned. I take what I can get, and like a rope artist, I weave a safety net from it. But how do you know that the net will hold in the end? I'll only know that when the time comes. All I can do is fall. Why do I have the feeling this can't possibly end well? Trust me, I've taken more precautions than you know. What happened here? Looks like a battle took place. I can smell something besides blood. Don't tell me that coward poisoned his dagger. Oh, finally a little warmth. There are still a few pelts lying in the tent. They left everything behind in a hurry. It's stuck too deep in the tree, but without a bow, it's useless to me anyway. Finally, the first stage of the journey is finished. But I'll never make it up there without a guide. I thought you were prepared, mistress. Hmm. There are people by the waterfall, and at least one of them looks awfully familiar. Ah, uh, by Rondra. I think his blade was poisoned. If only you had used a sword and not that cursed bow. Stay calm. If you get upset, the poison will spread through your veins even faster. Are you sure no one followed us? When a Fekina jumps out of the bushes, the rest of the tribe can't be far behind. Don't worry. He has no hair. He's an outcast. Dishonored. A coward who poisons his enemies. I'll make him pay for this. Those are Rondra Amazons. I heard their fortress was west of here. But what are they doing so far out this way? Don't worry about it and get out of here! No, I need that bastard. Only he knows the way to Draconia. <sighs> May the gods be with you. I see you've captured a Fakina. Who are you? My name is Sadia. The Fakina was supposed to guide me through the Rashtulian Wall, 
before he knocked me down and robbed me. Thanks for catching him for me. Hmm. Don't listen to her. Can't you see the darkness in her eyes? I have the situation in hand, Mother Lioness. You were careless to trust such a man. A Fakina without hair is a Fakina without honor. A man without honor is a man without love for the gods and without pride and therefore capable of anything. Where was he supposed to guide you? I'm going to Draconia. To the Council of the Elements? Why? I want to join the Holy Army there and fight the battle in the Gorian Desert. Then we have the same destination. Not Draconia, but the war. Shoot her. She is evil. You're speaking in delirium. Please calm yourself. Is there any news from the battlefield? The troops from Zorgan are on their way to Angapal, ready to attack the center of evil. They're only waiting for reinforcements, which are currently camped outside Draconia. Meanwhile, the hordes of darkness are gathering in the Gorian Desert. A glorious battle lays before us. You're very young for a warrior. When fate overtakes us, we can't wait. We must act as we are commanded. That can be difficult for outsiders to understand. Believe me, I understand. A few moons ago, our highest lioness had a vision from our goddess Rondra. A burning red lioness, the symbol of our goddess. Twenty ears of grain, only half of them ripe. They stand for me and my sisters, and the statue of a mighty female warrior. Embraced by a demonic creature, it's been long since we've had such a clear sign. When the lioness speaks, we obey. What's wrong with your companion? We were at our camp below the fog. When the Fakina surprised us, he slew my sister's horse and poisoned my sister with his dagger. We took him prisoner and withdrew here to avoid further attacks from his people. Fortunately, the poison is harmless, but induces fever dreams and drowsiness. Why don't you let the Fakina go? Never. He's too dangerous. It would take a divine miracle for me to let a cowardly murderer like him go free. I'm going to take a look around. Yes, but don't approach the prisoner, or else you'll feel an arrow in your hand faster than you'd like. You're so nice to her. She's just like me. It won't be easy to coax her into giving me Rahwan. Hmm. Unless... Will you help now after all? I might have an idea, but I'll need his necklace for it. What are you planning? Bring me the necklace, and I'll tell you. There's a flaming lion engraved on the shield, the sign of the goddess Rondra. I see what you're doing, and I advise you to leave it be. Hmm. I have to do that more indirectly. An apple is hanging from a tree, and a man is picking it. A group of people peacefully sitting by a fire. Two men hunting some kind of misshapen beast. The painting shows a woman with a child in her arms. A man with a spear. The image of a dragon. That won't get me anywhere. I can't get the branches apart with my bare hands. Almost. If only the water level weren't so low.
I won't drink. I won't drink until I know I'm safe here. I don't much care. Perhaps you remember the vision I sent you in the burial chamber as an explanation for the blood ritual. You mean the image of my bleeding hand, the smoldering incense bowl, and you? Correct. Well, you can't talk to the prisoner since the girl would get suspicious. But you could send him a vision and ask him to get on good terms with her. And how? With the spell of vision sending, which I now place in your hands. Cast it on the necklace in your bag, and I'll explain the rest. The spell works only on someone you have a personal item from, and you can only send visions of things which are nearby by using three visions only. You can tell the prisoner that he should get on the good side of the Amazon. Using three visions only? Yes. Direct his attention to his tormentor, then to him, and finally, to a symbol for friendship and sociability. He will, without fail, associate these three things with one another. He can't defend himself against it. The order of the visions does not matter. Shut up! Hmm. It didn't work. Wait for it. Zul, Asasha. Please do me a favor. Take this piece of cloth from my cloak and gag the Fakina. No daughter of Rondra deserves such abuse. Get the Fakina out of my head. What am I supposed to do with him? He hangs from the tree like a fruit, a sour, inedible fruit. Rondra wants me to pick something from a tree? But what? What is it? I... I had a vision from my goddess. She instructed me to pluck the prisoner from the tree like an apple. I must follow her command, but I need your help. What should I do? I fear for my sister should I let him go here. Take my horse, which you'll find behind the waterfall, and carry the prisoner up the hill. Once you're far enough away, let him go and send the horse back to me. You can count on me. Thank you. Right, there we are. I'll let you go. And in return, you must keep your promise and guide me to Draconia. Agreed? Uh, agreed. Then hold still. 
so I can free you from your bonds. Do you really want to do that? He already betrayed you once. Don't worry. I know what I'm doing. Didn't you say you knew what you were doing? Yes. <coughs> I fell, and you caught me. I just didn't know how you would do it. <coughs> so you can transform flesh into stone. It... it looks like it. Yes? I thank you. My hands! And now to you. You know, I actually pitied you, the outcast for Kina whose own people no longer want him, who had to subjugate himself to the laws of the city and sold his honor just to survive. But the moment you hit me over the head with that bone, you lost all my mercy. I'm ordering you one last time to take me to Draconia. You'll feed me when I tell you, and you'll guard me when I sleep. Once I have arrived there safely, with the mask, only then, Will I restore your hands? My hands! That's right, you bastard. And if you don't obey me, I'll transform the rest of you as well. My hands! They're stone! <clears throat> ah, very good. You're awake. You? What are you doing here? Where's the demon? Actually, I just came to fetch a few items, but I saw the two of you lying here, and I thought I'd build a fire. One chills so easily around here. Your haunted look tells me that you also have the dreams now, yes? By Rashtul's curls, what a mess. Have you succeeded in solving the riddle in the meantime? Yeah. I also dreamed of Sadia. Believe me, I did not want that. I'm sorry, but it is not too late. Forget everything you have seen, just as you would forget every other nightly dream. Why? What's so dangerous about it? Oh, Sadia's story itself is harmless. It's only the end which you must guard against. One who carelessly tackles the end is dealing with forces which were better left undisturbed. I don't understand a word. And it should remain that way. How did the riddle go again? As the stone over the scarab, so rules the scarab over the stone. Enter, if to you the answer is known. If not, then forever your life I'll own. All we need is the answer, right? The stone is no mere rock, it's Sadia's ruby. She's a descendant of the Mogul and the ruby is an heirloom. She was planning to use it in some way. Hmm, an interesting idea, but it doesn't explain much. Well, as I see it, we haven't really come any further. Not if you leave me groping around in the dark. Geron, I'm just a simple merchant. I'm also your friend. If there's something I'm keeping from you, then I'm only doing it to protect you. I didn't ask for your protection. I want answers. The answers you seek are dangerous, Geron. I'm warning you. Ignore the dream. Stay away from Draconia and beware the Garden of Oblivion. If you leave the gate to Draconia sealed, the visions will disappear on their own, and nothing bad will happen to you or your friend. But if you pursue this path, and make only one single mistake at the end, then a fate worse than death awaits you. On the other hand, if you just solve my riddle, then everything will be fine. Ah. <sighs> Why don't you take care of her? Brider, get up. We've got him. What 
happened? What kind of dream was that? And by the gods, who made a fire here in the middle of the crime scene? That was him. Blast! Where did he go? Oh, my head. Ryder, what do you know about a place called Draconia? It's an ancient fortress in the Rastulian Wall. Built by dragons. Alric Bodiak's speciality. Why? Because I'm tired of these games, and because I think we'll find our answers there. You're not a simple would-be hero, are you? No. Let's go home. I'll tell you everything on the way. What a night. I can hardly keep my eyes open. How's your wing? Better. Good. Then let's try again. Do you remember... Think about the first time we met. You lived in a lonely cave for years, and together we found a way to finally free you. And all the things you've seen since then. Andergast, the blood barrier, Enqui. Enqui? Don't you remember? That was the smuggler city in the north. Was that where the ocean was? Right! And do you also remember... the night we spent together in the Brinask Marshes? You wanted to enter a bond of love with me. Did we kiss? You don't remember? I know it was cold, and we were sitting around a fire. <sighs> that was nice. And now think about... Remember the orcs and how I had to distract them. Wasn't that exciting? How did you distract them? I pretended I was their god of death and sent them off into the middle of the wastelands. That's right. Ah, we were quite an heroic couple. We defied the greatest dangers and saved Andergast. Just you and me. And the Raven. We were the best. You did it! You can fly again. Yes. What is it? I forgot what happened to the raven. Oh, Nuri. I want to leave it all behind me and start over. I want to fly across the ocean. Chin up. We'll get through this. Ryder and I want to find out what Fai is hiding from us. And once we know that, we'll finally be able to solve the riddle. Is this still about the story of that princess? That was all such a long time ago. What about now? Nuri, I have to know Sadia's whole story. And for that, I have to talk to Master Bodiak. He's the only one who can tell us what Draconia has to do with all this. Only once I understand it all will the two of us be all right again. And we can finally forget all the terrible things forever. I don't see Ulrich at his window. I hope he's here. 